Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us concerning the counting of Today is 32 days, which is four weeks, uh, four days in all. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of the temple to its place speedily in our days. <laughs> For the choir master, the song with instrumental music. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May countenance shine upon us forever. That your ways be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. The nations will extol you, O oh God. All the nations will extol you. The nations will rejoice and sing for joy. For you will judge the nations justly and guide the nations on earth forever. The nations will extol you, uh, oh God, all the, all the nations will extol you, for the earth will have yielded its progress. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all from the farthest corners of the earth shall fear him. Master of the universe, you have commanded us through Moses, your servant, to count Sifrat HaOmer in order to purify us from our evil and uncleanness. You have written in your Torah, you shall count for yourselves from the day following the day of rest, from the day on which you bring the Omer as a wave offering. The counting shall be for seven full weeks. On the seventh day shall you count fifty days, so that the souls of your people, Israel, may be cleansed from their defilement. Therefore, may it be your will, Lord our God and God of our fathers, that in the merit of Omer, which I counted today, the blemish that I have caused in the seraph be rectified, and I may be purified and sanctified with supernal, may abundant bounty thereby be bestowed upon all of the world, may it rectify our nefesh, Ruach and Nisma from every baseness and defect sanctify us with your supernal holiness. Amen. Endurance within humility. One should examine whether his humility can withstand challenges and whether his views remain constant or fold under pressure. Such an examination is supposed to yield abiding fortitude. Humility and modesty should form someone into a feeling of being stable and composed. However, humility should never be used to exploit a person.